Call center companies must be experts in data protection. After all, every day they process vast quantities of customer information, which must be properly secured. How do they do this? My name is Alicia Erasmus. Welcome to the new episode about GDPR. The protection of personal data within the European Union and the European Economic Area is regulated by the so-called GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation. This is a regulation in EU law that is fundamental to the protection of the right to privacy. Importantly, the GDPR does not only apply to companies that are based in European countries. Personal data transferred outside the EU also falls under the GDPR. What is personal data according to the GDPR? It is information about an identified or identifiable natural person formally known as data subjects. Identification can be indirect or direct. Direct identification occurs when the basis of a single piece of information were able to immediately establish the identity of a person. This is the case when, for example, we know a person's social security number. Indirect identification, on the other hand, involves the use of multiple pieces of information which together with a certain amount of time and effort make it possible to finally establish a person's identity. Examples of indirect identification include cookies, which are popular on websites. What information is subject to legal protection? This is data that can be used to identify a person. For example, name, identification number, location data, or factors determining the physical, psychological, mental, economic, or social identity of a person. Identification of a person occurs when we are able to establish their identity beyond reasonable doubt. For example, knowing the registration number of a car will not constitute personal data for a hairdresser whose salon is nearby. It will be different for the owner of a detective company who has the means to quickly and in no uncertain terms establish who the owner of a vehicle is on the basis of the number plates alone. As you can see, the interpretation of GDPR regulations requires an individual approach to each situation. It is worth trusting the experts in this regard. The GDPR introduces the concept of controller of personal data. This is the natural person, legal entity, public authority or another body that alone or collectively with others determines the purpose and means of processing personal data. Data controllers must clearly disclose any data collection, declare the lawful basis and purpose of data processing and state how long data is being retained for and if it's being shared with any third parties or outside of the EEA. Firms have the obligation to protect data of employees and consumers to the degree where only the necessary data is extracted with minimum interference with data privacy from employees, consumers or third parties. Firms should have internal controllers and regulations for various departments such as audit, internal controls and operations. In addition to the personal data controller, the GDPR introduces the concept of a personal data processor. This can be a natural person or a legal entity that processes the data on behalf of the controller. The most common personal data processors are call center companies that serve the customers of their partners. The GDPR stipulates that it is the controller who must ensure the security of personal data. For this reason, it pays to choose for cooperation those processors that are trustworthy and have sufficient knowledge and resources to meet the requirements of the GDPR. The processing of personal data by a processor should take place on the basis of a contract with the personal data controller in which the subject and duration of the processing, the nature and the purpose of the processing, the type of personal data and the category of personal data subjects will be determined. In addition, it must be clearly stated in the contract that the processor processes the data only under the documented instructions of the controller and ensures that the persons authorized to process personal data have committed themselves to secrecy. There are high financial penalties for non-compliance with GDPR regulations. In Poland, these are imposed by the president of the Personal Data Protection Office. The fines can be as high as 20 million euro 
or 4% of the company's annual worldwide turnover from the previous financial year. It is therefore worth cooperating with a trusted partner who is a specialist in the field of personal data protection. That's all for today. I invite you to follow our channel Business Nasuhavka. New videos are coming soon. See you.